Welcome to Chaos Core Tech. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna make a mount for my phone so I can capture better 3D prints from my Robo 3D. Now, if you've ever seen a Robo 3D printer, um, the bed moves in and out. So the Y axis is actually the bed and it moves forward and backwards while it's printing. Um, and that's great, works perfectly. But for capturing footage of the print and trying to make a successful time lapse of it, it does not work that great because um, you know you just speed up the footage and it just starts jittering, jittering around, and that's not that's not fun to look at. And that's why um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, they are usually just like a small section where you can see it a little bit faster, and then it'll fade into later in the print. But I wanted to bring you guys like better time lapse footage so you can see the whole product or the whole um, part being made and stuff like that. So this is my attempt to allow that to happen. So let's go take a look. So here we are in Cura. Yes, I finally made the change. Um, and actually, I'm having some trouble with the uh, first layer. Not really sure what's happening there. It just doesn't stick very well. Um, and using the same, pretty much the same settings on uh, matter control, it was sticking phenomenally. Um, so I think I just need to make some adjustments there, but I'll figure it out. Um, so here we have the part and um, this little thing right here is actually just a support structure, so after you're done printing, um, you can just pop that off. I figured that was easier than having it build up a whole bunch of support here, and then it'll try to throw support inside this little hole here, so I figured it was easier just to build one in because it's really easy to break off right there. But as far as print settings, um, 0.3 millimeter layer height is perfectly fine. There's nothing really here that needs a lot of detail um, in the Z axis. And then um, you can pretty much use anything you need for the infill. Um, I just went 10%. Um, actually for this one I went 20%, um, but 10% would probably do just fine because I mean really it's not taking a ton of strain. It doesn't need to hold up very well. And then I printed mine in PLA, so I have normal um, PLA settings over here. No support, no raft, because it's a super small piece. Um, and it actually took about uh, 24 minutes to print, I believe, on my Robo 3D. And then if you are printing one of the um, the actual holder for the phone as well um, with, the, with the springs, um, same settings will work for that. Um, nothing special is needed for either of those. So let's get this loaded up on an SD card and uh, print away. Okay guys, so here you can see this is the part I printed. And this will mount on the Robo 3D, which I will show you in just a second. And I actually went through a couple of design iterations, as you can see here. And these are actually see what you see me making in the CAD I have sped up for this. Um, but ultimately I landed on this design, which is actually a lot simpler. And um, these were actually interfering with the printer. so it was not allowing it to print. So this works out much better. So this right here is the old way I used to do it. As you can see, it's just on a tripod for a microphone um, or a mic stand. And it just overlooks the printer. And as you can see, as this goes in and out, it does not work very well. But I took this same clip here and made another one here and actually just mounted it on the front of the printer. And as you can see, it's actually, it's very, very sturdy, so the camera doesn't wobble at all while it's printing. So this is the back of the printer, um, and this is basically just like what the front is. But as you can see over here, the um, there is a little screw that I think holds on a belt that helps the um, bed move back and forth. But over here, there is just a little hole 
that um, is not being used. So I decided to leverage that because I had some screws that fit it pretty well. And that is what you see right there. Um, and if you're wondering about this top piece here with the springs, um, I've got another video showing that. I'll put a link up over here in the eye. You can check that out or down in the description. And this uses the same thing. It's just screwed on um, like all the other ones are. So let's take a look underneath. So there's an area right here that the screw actually goes through. And there's just a hole back here. So I could um, screw the nut on top of it and then just uh, screw it in place. And then there is a little part that sticks out right in there that helps keep it level. And then these spring holders here actually hold it on the bed. So this just does not move at all and it works really great. So now you can see with the camera on it, um, it follows the bed. So hopefully that'll allow us to get better footage of the print. So I took some test footage of this, um, one using the old method and one using the new method. So let's go take a look and see how that turned out. Well, there you have it, guys. I printed a mount for my phone, so hopefully my um, time-lapse footage will be better and I can bring you higher quality videos. So if you guys have made it this far and you are an active subscriber of mine and watched my video from last week, um, you'll know that my project for this week was supposed to be a Pokeball. Um, and obviously that is not what you're watching right now. So um, what happened there was uh, usually I plan these videos out and have the project done a week or even two weeks ahead of schedule so I have time to prep the video get it out and, you know, uh, combat any issues along the way. And this one had a ton of issues and I was actually still working on it um, two days from when this video was posted. So obviously that's not ideal. And the print was just not coming out the way I wanted it to. Um, I wasn't happy with it. So I scrapped it. I don't want to bring you guys a subpar video and just kind of show something. So I told you guys I was going to commit to a schedule and I'm already breaking that. So it seems about right. I will. So you've got this video today, which I thought was kind of a fun little project. And then um, Wednesday, I'm going to be bringing you another print instead of a, um, a CAD video. Um, and then still expect the Wally -E video on or the Wally -E update on Friday. Um, and then next week, we will return to form with my normal weekly prints. So I apologize if you were looking forward to that. Um, it might still come at a later time if I can figure it out, but but for now, this is what we got. So, so thank you guys for joining me. If you have not subscribed to me, I would really appreciate it if you do. I bring new um, videos every week, a new 3D printing build. Um, and then make sure to give this video that like. And if you can share this video with anyone who might be interested, I would appreciate that as well. Helps me out a ton. And then if you're wondering what to watch next, check the little eye up in the corner here. I'll put some videos up there. And that's it for me, guys. See you next time.